Have you ever seen this error? Or this error? If you ever face one of these problems whenever you're trying to swap a token on an exchange, or you expected to buy a certain amount of tokens but you ended up getting a lot less, then what you experienced is something called slippage. Now in the world of DeFi and yield farming, slippage is actually pretty common. We experience slippage any time we trade. But in this video, we're going to go over exactly what slippage is, what you can do about it, and how to avoid some common problems such as front running. So let's dive into this video. Now guys, before we go any further, this is not financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor, so please consult your own research, do your own due diligence, and keep this as entertainment only. So first of all, what is slippage? Well, pretty much anyone who has exchanged crypto on a decentralized exchange has faced an error that you saw before. Now this error occurs because of slippage, and slippage happens when there is a difference between the initial cost of a trade when it is placed, and the actual cost when the order is executed. For example, I might place an order for 100 super coins at $1 per super coin. But before it has a chance to be executed, the price might jump to $2, thereby generating a slippage error. Slippage can be caused by multiple factors, including low liquidity, low volume, and high price volatility, all of which are prevalent in cryptocurrency. Also, there can be both positive and negative slippage. Negative slippage occurs when the price is greater than expected, and positive slippage occurs when the price is less than originally selected. Now, in the case of negative slippage, that is when you will expect to buy a token and then you'll get less of it. And in the case of positive slippage, which does happen occasionally, but probably less than you want, you can actually get more tokens than what you expected to buy, which is pretty dang awesome. So what can you do as a yield farmer or cryptocurrency trader do to prevent slippage? Well, you really can't control slippage, but on any exchange, there should be a place on the swap page where you can actually set the slippage tolerance. Now, when encountering a slippage issue, simply increase the tolerance incrementally until you are able to make your trade. Coins with low liquidity and volume may require a slippage tolerance of 25% or even more, especially if you're aping into a coin at launch. Now, if you're using PancakeSwap, for example, you can go to the settings right there by clicking on this yellow highlighted icon. Once you've clicked on that, you can go to the transaction settings and input your slippage tolerance. You can even put a custom one up to you, depending on however much high slippage you want. Now there is something called front running. If you set your slippage tolerance high enough, you'll see the following error that says your transaction may be front run. This means that a person or a bot could see your transaction and force you to accept the highest possible price based on your slippage setting. Obviously, front running is to be avoided, so the best practice is to keep the slippage low and only increase it if you really need to. Now that's about all about slippage. If you guys have any questions, please do leave a comment in the YouTube description below, or you can ask us on our Telegram group, which you can join in the group by using the description link below. Now guys, make sure to stay safe in the DeFi space and have an amazing day.